welcome to my kitchen. It is Thursday night and I was inspired by my friend Bev over at the Mrs. Volfi channel. She made some rice pudding this morning with brown rice. And I put up a video of how to make jasmine rice pudding, but I thought since it's really cold here, I mean it is below freezing right now, and, and we're all really cold. <laughs> it's literally freezing outside. It, it is, and the, with the wind chill it's just horrible. Um, I'm not complaining. I love winter. Um, but tomorrow morning when everyone wakes up and gets ready for school, I want them to have something warm to eat for breakfast. So I'm going to put some rice pudding in the crock pot and it'll be ready by tomorrow morning and it's going to be great. So this is how I'm going to do it. Um, I've got my big old crock pot here and what I'm going to do, my family loves rice pudding. Unlike Bev's family, where if she's the only one who enjoys it, we love rice pudding. I'm going to start out with three cups of rice. And you can use um, long grain, short grain, it doesn't matter. Short grain rice is usually what call, is called corn rice pudding and that's because it's a, a bit starchier. So a boreo or jasmine or whatever. But right now I have this and that's what I'm going to use. But black. You can use black rice for rice pudding. I actually have seen a recipe for that. Um, we have some. We do have some, yes. I'm also going to add a cup of sugar. And I'm just kind of, you know, chop and drop kind of thing. I'm dumping everything in here. I'm going to give it a good stir. I'm going to put it on low and I'm going to just let it leave it alone. And I may give it a stir a couple of times before I go to bed. But other than that, that's all I'm going to do. I need church key. Let's see. I'm going to use two cans of evaporated milk. So that's about, let's see, I think this is a 14 ounce, it's a 12 ounce can. So that's a cup and a half, right? We're keeping track. Here's another can of evaporated milk. That's a cup and a half. So that's three cups total, right? We have three cups of rice. And this is par cooked rice, so it doesn't take um, one to one. This is one can of sweetened condensed milk. I mean, really, how could this be bad? Let's give that a good stir because I already feel some of my rice sticking to the bottom there. Yes, and just because I can, I'm going to add a can of media crema. And if those of you who have been watching, I've been using this and then so does uh, Shelby over at the Queen's Cabinet. This is really going to richen this quite a bit. Hmm? It's going to be lovely. Alright, now I am going to add a little bit of water. So what did we have? This was... 14 ounces, so about a cup and a half, and this is this is seven and point six, so about a cup. So we've got one, two, three, four, um, five cups of liquid, right? And three cups of rice. So I'm actually going to add. I have two eggs here, and I'm going to fill up this two cup measure with water in there with the eggs. It's stuck in there too. In that goes. Now I know you're thinking that's a lot of liquid. Yeah it is. But you want your rice pudding to actually be pudding. You don't want all the liquid to cook out. And of course that's not going to happen since we're doing it in the crock pot. Now, I'm not going to put any cinnamon in here because we're going to put cinnamon on our own individual servings. I am going to, however, use my whisk and break up that media crema that's in there. 
and it'll it'll break up as it cooks so I wouldn't worry about that too much but it's starting to float on the top see that broke it up nicely add some vanilla it's about two tablespoons hmm oh it smells yummy who wouldn't want to eat that for breakfast? Mm -hmm. good. I'm also going to put raisins. You like raisins. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put dark raisins and light raisins. I love, I love golden raisins. They're my favorite. Okay. I'm going to put about a cup of those raisins, the, the black raisins. And these things I always have on hand. I, I just what? What? I got a thing for. I had plans for it. You had plans for that? Uh huh. I'm sorry. Me two of those too. Really? Uh -huh. Can you all guess what those are for? I bet you can't. All right. About a cup each, but that's just my preference. If you don't like raisins, don't put them in there. and You don't have to put anything in here besides what the rice and the milk and the water and the egg. Um, we uh, we like dried fruit. I would love to put, you know those, uh, those packages of dried fruit bits? That would be fabulous in this rice pudding. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it on low. I'm going to put the lid on it, and I'm going to set it and forget it. I'm just going to walk away from it. We're going to have our pizza night tonight, and we're going to be making French bread pizzas for dinner, so that's that. When it's time to have breakfast tomorrow morning, I'll come back and I'll fix you a bowl of crock-pot rice pudding, hot and fresh. All right, we're back. It is, it is tomorrow morning. <laughs> and I'll tell you what we did with this, okay? We put this on around 6.30 yesterday evening. Just as you saw me put it together with the evaporated milk and the media crema and the condensed milk, the rice, the raisins, the sugar, the two eggs, a little bit of water. My crock pot runs very hot, okay? By the time we went to bed last I night, it was really, really bubbly. I stirred it several times. And pretty much it was done, except it was extremely thick. I actually ended up adding liquid in here. I added a cup of cream and I added two additional cups of milk. And I used my Gosner whole milk. And it's perfect. And I basically just stirred it up really good. I turned off the crock pot and I let it sit. And when I came out this morning, I set it to warm so that we could eat it for breakfast because. Rick and I are up about an hour before the girls get up. I start waking them up, but you know how that is. They're teenagers, right? Mm. This rice pudding is fantastic. We're going to eat this for breakfast, but I'm sure that we'll scoop out of it all day and then have it for dessert. There may be a little leftover for tomorrow, but it's fabulous. And I just want to say thank you to Bev for inspiring me to throw this together. Um, I think that cooking the rice pudding in the crock pot is just the perfect answer because you don't have to stand there and babysit it until it's finished. I love this idea and uh, and it worked really really well so I'm gonna throw this out there and hope that maybe one day next week or maybe this weekend you'll throw a pot of this together and you'll have a nice warm breakfast to wake up to and your family is gonna love it. So that's it. Okay. I'm gonna fix myself a bowl. Rick already had some. <laughs> so that's my breakfast right there. Delicious. I, however, I didn't put any cinnamon in here. I'm just gonna give this a dusting of cinnamon for myself. That's it. Delicious. Who wouldn't love that for breakfast? Crock pot rice pudding. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. Thanks so much for joining me this very early morning in my kitchen. And until next time, I'll see ya.